Dams impact the Spokane River in a number of ways. First and the most obvious is they block passage for fish. We have a native population of red band trout in the Spokane River, and the dams block their movement from one section of the river to the other. Another way dams impact rivers is by blocking flow. The most obvious is Post Falls Dam uh, at the near Lake Coeur d'Alene, which drastically impacts summertime flows in the Spokane River. Another way dams impact the river is by trapping sediments. This can have a couple of different effects. Behind Monroe Street Dam, which is just upstream, toxic sediments are, are deposited behind Monroe. Every several years, a vista dredges those sediments and dumps them on the other side of, of the dam. It also stops the transport of gravels, which are important for red band trout to spawn in. Spawn, uh, the trout actually create nests called reds with those gravels. Dams also heat up the river. The large reservoirs create warm, slow-moving reservoirs. This in turn can lead to problems with dissolved oxygen. Lastly, uh, the dams, when, when they spill water, can cause high levels of total dissolved gas, which actually can create uh, a condition similar to the bends in fish.